now tuned in to the latest and the greatest of the Android system, the channel which gives you information every day and every way possible. Stay tuned. When I first came to Metro PCS, I was using uh, prepaid minutes. I don't even know if you guys know what that is, but prepaid minutes was when you would buy a card from Verizon, um, which what which is what I was doing, and um, I would actually load those minutes onto the card to get data, text, and internet. Actually, no internet at the time, but um, Metro PCS was one of the companies that right away it was uh, love at first sight what they did was um, they gave customers like me the ability to access um, prepaid um, prepaid services what prepaid service does is it takes you out of a contract not only can you have the independence and the um, ability to move whenever you want you also get the ability to um, switch your phone whenever you want. I remember when I was with Verizon and I had a contract, as soon as I tried to get a new phone or seen a new phone that I liked, I'd have to wait until the end of the year or even more than that, two years, depending on how long the contract was. So the relationship that I've had with Metro PCS thus far has been excellent. As you know, they have switched their towers to support 5G so that they can um, compete with Verizon. What their, their goal is to beat Verizon to the highest speeds possible and um, basically make it so that they are the innovators of the 5G network. In this process of doing that, what they did was um, people that actually had phones that were compatible with the Verizon network that change which happened in like early July affected almost 250,000 people or more including me when I had a device that I bought internationally which was already supported by Metro PCS but when they updated those towers what happened was I could only get access to 2G speeds or 4G speeds and what it was was um, I spoke to an agent on the phone who said that my phone was fully compatible with with Metro PCS network but there's a lot of complications about some of the technologies that they did have to offer that weren't available to me once they did those changes so what you need to know is that if you're buying a phone globally, don't expect the phone to work on the Metro PCS network. They've updated their towers now. They used to be able to support phones with the high speed data, but they cut that off. What network technology does Metro PCS run on? According to Wikipedia, Metro PCS provides nationwide talk, text, and data depending on the planned services using GSM, HSPA, HSPA Plus, and 4G LTE networks. So basically, Metro PCS uses the GSM network. Your phone has to be compatible with it in order for it to work. But one of the things that every phone has inside of it is something called bands, which are supported by the network technologies. You want to make sure that you have all the compatible bands that you need to access the high-speed network. According to PCMag, in the U.S. Sprint, Verizon, and U.S. Cellular use CDMA. AT&T and T-Mobile use GSM. Most of the rest of the world uses GSM. All right, so basically what it is is that um, GSM is the main... Um, network to, that you want to use because what it does is it gives you the ability to have more personal access to a SIM card which has all your information on it. Um, the GSM is the, the worldwide standard. Um, companies like Verizon, they use um, 
the CDMA network, which is like pretty much locked into a carrier. And, um, you know, they're, they're kind of catching up, but they've got the high speeds. But what it is is now Metro PCS has got the 5G first. So um, they beat Verizon to the chase, which was, which was what their niche was, was high speeds. What phone carriers use prepaid services? In their wallet, we evaluated prepaid cell phone plans offered by the following carriers AT&T, Boost Mobile, Consumer Cellular, Cricket, Google's Project Fi, Great Call, Metro PCS, Net10, Republic Wireless, Sprint, Straight Talk, T-Mobile, TrackPhone, Verizon Wireless, and Virgin Mobile. Okay, so pretty much every single carrier now offers prepaid service because of Metro PCS and Boost Mobile. They were the innovators of the prepaid service. And what happened was a lot of people that were getting locked in the contracts wanted the ability to have freedom to move their phone to, um, to another device within the carrier or just move carriers back and forth. What the prepaid service did was allowed people to take their SIM card, which was GSM, and use it to actually um, switch the phone or upgrade the phone without having to wait like a month or two or even to the end of the year to the next year within a contract. So um, it gave you freedom. It gave you the ability to, um, you know, have independence and, and more choices when it came to phones. So the main thing that you want to know when you're trying to switch a phone to a carrier is you want to learn what um, network technology they're on, whether it be GSM or CDMA. And then what you want to know is what the bands um, for that network technology are compatible with and if they're compatible with your phone. Because what it is, if you, if you buy a phone from internationally, like online or something like that, you're going to get like 2G bands unless you do some research and you actually see if your phone is even compatible with um, the network of your choosing. Make sure you do that because um, what it was was I had a prepaid, um, I, I pretty much had, not a prepaid, I had an um, unlocked phone that I bought online and I still have that phone and now I use it like a tablet because what it was was when I first got the phone, I connected to the 4G and the 3G networks. But what happened was was Metro PCS upgraded their um, towers and made them compatible for to the future, which is 5G, which is the highest speeds possible, beating Verizon to the chase. Um, essentially, what that did was it er it erased 4G completely, and now the phone is only compatible on 2G, which is useless. You can't even watch a YouTube video on 2G. So your other options options are to look for um, cellular network companies that have um, compatibility of the GSM and 3G and 4G so that you can take your device of your choice and move it to one of those carriers so you don't get slowed down when you're trying to um, take advantage of the data plan. Essentially what it is is that Metro PCS does offer a hotspot which is um, essentially locked into T-Mobile and Metro PCS. They offer that hotspot um, within the plan free of charge which basically and essentially means that you have a second phone that you could use the hotspot with at any time of the day and with the click of a button so you can give that phone or phones access to internet um, within that carrier Metro PCS and T-Mobile. So you're faced with the decision whether you want to, um, if you have secondary phones, if you want to um, buy an extra SIM card and put it in the second phone and pay the additional money. I know Metro PCS has two phones for $80 right now. I know Boost Mobile has two phones for like $50 now. So um, 
what it is is it's up to you um, which what you want to do straight talk actually has some really nice plans but there's no hot spot so you have to um, keep in mind that do you want to keep the hot spot that you have with Metro PCS or do you want to get internet on that phone that is international and um, have the ability to have that SIM card put it in the phone and have it work with the high speed network for me um, you know I'm going back and forth in my head of what I actually want do I want to use my phone um, essentially and have just data high speed inside of that phone or do I want to stay with Metro PCS and essentially have access to a hotspot at any given time moment or place that I can lock in internet on any device of my choosing which is essentially like a great deal so um you know I'm still thinking about it but um you know I did a lot of research and um you know I'm still deciding but basically what it comes down to is that um Metro PCS does not have the option of um, bringing your own device in globally so you could get high speeds because they updated the towers and those towers deaded the 3G network and the 4G is like you can't even get that it's LTE and up so pretty much keep that in mind make sure your phone is compatible with those networks because when I had originally bought that phone I did have the capability to use the high speed networks but as soon as they updated those towers everything was gone so um, I hope you guys found this video helpful I hope you were able to get something out of it and um, you know learn something new this is the channel where I talk about the latest and the greatest on the Android system um, the channel where you learn something every day in every way possible in the meantime thank you for watching and have a great morning afternoon evening